Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Star Trek Online. From now on, we will be playing as my chosen Federation captain, or rather, an admiral, Mr. Kavianoth, or Carve for short. Here, we will be playing a new mission. Let's see what the mission's title is. Ah, it appears to be... Da -da -da -da, stranded in Space. Admiral, I've received a report that there is a Bolian freighter that is overdue arriving at Earth's space dock. It may need assistance. Please talk to Malcolm Sissel in the shipyard. He will have more information about the missing vessel than I do. Speak to Malcolm Sissel in the shipyard about the missing freighter. Right on. Speak to Malcolm Sissel in the shipyard. Malcolm Sissel, as according to the map, is right up ahead. Hello, Mr. Sissel. Greetings, Admiral. So you're here to talk about the missing freighter. We haven't had a communique from the SS Azura in more than 20 hours. Dana Broad is an experienced captain and the daughter of a former Starfleet officer. It's not like her to be out of contact. It would be a real help if you could go out to Sector Space and find the Azura. I've already transmitted the ship's last known coordinates to your con officer. Good luck. When you're ready to return to your ship, blah 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 blue. I already know this. Thank you very much. Alright, time to beam up. Our ship, by the way... It's a little more advanced than the last one. Nice little tier 5 star cruiser, the USS Forrester. And as soon as this loads, ah, there it is. And we'll, well, time to leave the system. Right up that away, and. So long! Sorry to shove you out of the way, Mr. Romulan, but. Business calls! Alright, go to SS Azura. Auto navigate. Do go around and there we go. Looks like we're heading straight for the Azura at this point. So the Forester is a pretty decent ship, outfitted with a let's see, outfitted with mostly phasers, and photon torpedoes on the front, but on the back it's got a more diverse array of mostly torpedoes, a tetrion beam, and a Romulan plasma turret, as well as the usual. Well, useful weapons. To any ships in range. This is Data Broad of the Transport SS Azura. Please help. Warp core containment field down. <laughs> Radiation flooding ship. <laughs> Communications and life support field. They cannot eject warp core. <laughs> Need immediate evacuation and assistance. Please help us. <laughs> well, apparently, the SS Azura is right up there in the asteroid field. Let's rumble. Rescue the Azura. Stranded in space. Yep, that's the name of the episode. Tenny ships in range. This is Data brought of the transport SS Azura. Please help. We're being pursued by Orion Raiders. Crew injured. Taking heavy fire. Dropping out of warp near your coordinates. Need immediate evacuation and assistance. Please help us. Deverell, keep tracking that distress signal. Hello? Oh, cutscene. Ah, oh, there's the Azura. Looks like that's the ship. Uh oh. And the Orions look to be making a number on it. Yeah, those are Orion Marauders, all right. Not the most graceful of ships, but they can be pretty tough. And looks like they got a couple of guards, too. Well, they mess with the Azura. Those two are apparently planning to hold us off. Not for long. Alrighty, Orion Corvette. Sir, sensors are picking up several light attack craft on an intercept course. We will need to deal with them before we can render aid to the Azura. Right, full power to shields, help take us in range. Full power to shields. Endeavor power to weapons. And, uh, hold it. We can, stick, we can scan this hydrazine gas before we get into a fight. And if we could do that, then we can get some extra hydrazine gas, which can be used for crafting different weapons later on down the road. But, now that we've got it... Now we can engage with those ships. And fire photons, fire phasers, fire everything we got. That little that little Corvette ain't getting away that easy. Alright, nope. Ultimate attractor beam. And zap with a tachyon ray. This ought to slow him down. Well, at least this way. We not only have quite a good way to shoot on a single area of the ship that has not the sort of defensive capabilities anymore to withstand our assault, but we can also do plenty of damage to the rest of the ship itself. Our rear shield is down. Not anymore, it's not. Alright, increase penetrating power to weapons, increase power to phasers and torpedo. That ought to do something to that ship. Well, they don't have much time left. 
Excellent. One more ship remains. Minor annoyance at best. Or at worst. On second thought, I suppose it would be at worst because it's not very good for us to be shot by a giant laser beam, no matter what you are. Uh, or a photon torpedo. Ouch. Well, we're doing more damage to them than they are to us. Increase shields power. Increase power to photons and phasers again. How oh, very useful. Hello, Mr. Corvette. Oop, transphaser cluster torpedo coming at ya. Yeah, you didn't like that, did you? Damn. That was a good investment. And watch out, watch out, ow. Well, we got this fight in a bag anyway. Bye-bye. Let's see. Two arriving Corvettes remain. Alrighty then. Hello there. I know you're there. You're hiding just behind that asteroid. Don't you hide from me, buddy. Wait a minute. They're going around the other way. If I can turn around just right... Why are they stuck behind the asteroid? I think the AI got them... Yeah, the AI got them stuck behind this asteroid! <laughs> well, then. I didn't anticipate that. But whatever works. Wait a minute. If I can line this up just right... And I can eject the warp plasma. Then without firing a shot, I can severely damage them both. Kind of like that. Alright. Fire heavy tricobalt device. Ooh, that stung. Hurt us as well, but at least... I'm doing more damage to them than they are to us. Man, that is not good for them. That warp plasma really is doing a number on those Corvettes. And the fact that he can't break out of my tractor beam, which is holding him in this plasma, he isn't helping him out either. Our ship is brutal! <laughs> oh well. One more Corvette remains, and it looks like the plasma did a number on him already. Increase power to phasers and photons, and... Down you go. Oh, did a little more damage than I anticipated. I am in error. A mistake I will not make a second time. Hello, Tricobalt device. Wait a minute, don't shoot! Oh, okay, Jesus, for a second there I thought it was going to hit the Azura. That would have been bad. I know friendly fire isn't a thing in this game, but still. And down he goes. That wasn't so hard. Alright, time to scan the Azura. You guys alright? Captain, I'm detecting elevated radiation levels on the Azura. I've alerted the transport chief of the situation. She can brief you before you beam over to the Azura. Go to the transporter room. Away, team. Report to the transporter room. Right on. All right, let's see. There seem to be a number of people there. Odds are we're going to need a doctor. I don't think we'll need a science officer. Security chief. Hmm, just in, Well, they didn't seem to have shields. In case a few beamed over, we'll need a security chief. Actually, I think we're going to need a second engineer more than anything else. So, Talc, you're coming with me. All right, so there's my away team. And wait for it. Act of Defiance, okay. Yo, Chief! Captain, I'm concerned about the radiation on the Azura. She might have some damage to the warp core, but our sensors can't pick them up, up enough to determine exactly what you'll find over there. I'm sure I can send your and the away team to the ship safely, but catching you back might be a problem until the Azura's critical damage is repaired. Step on the transporter pad when you're ready to go, and be careful, sir. Beam over to the SS Azura. Try to keep a lock on us and prepare to transport survivors. Righto. All right, time to use the transporter. Everybody here? All right, time to beam out. So long. One moment, please. Shut down the plasma leaks. What plasma leaks? Sorry, picking up multiple life signs. Some of them are the Azura's captain and crew, but the rest are Orion. Plasma leaks are blocking our path to the survivors. We will need to use the consoles to safely vent the plasma. Use consoles to bypass the primary conduits and contain the plasma leaks. Right. Rescuing the survivors is our top priority. Wait a minute, where'd everybody go? Hmm. What the heck? Where did everybody go? Alrighty. Guess we have to just shut down the plasma leaks and... Guys? Did they beam over with me? No, they didn't. Oh dear. Oh well. Guess I'm alone here. Looks like the transporter chief screwed up and sent them to somewhere else. What's this? Sc 
scan the crew member. Do, do, do. Anybody here? The crew member is critically injured and you do not have the training needed to assist them. Oh dear. That's not good. Okay. Wait a minute, what's that? Here we are, bypass the plasma conduit. And there we go. That wasn't so hard. I got a feeling there's more to... Uh-oh. Nope. Owie, owie. Well, a couple of Orion thugs really aren't going to be that much of a danger, especially to a hardened dude like myself. Well, that wasn't a problem. Actually, sir honestly, they, my cr bridge crew was supposed to transport over to me for this mission. I really was not supposed to be alone here. This was a glitch in the game. I appear to have uncovered something unusual. And it's not a good thing, either, since they actually seem to be doing a number on me now that I'm all alone. It's not going to hurt me badly, but it might slow me down a little bit. Yo, Mr. Thug! Don't you move. Ooh, what's this? Thoron particles. Those could be useful later on. Let's see. Do -do -do -do. Materials acquired, waveform matched, and hello, Thoron particles. What's in the box, George? Do-do-do-do-do. We found Klingon Glodst in a small hypo. Okay. And apparently the plasma leak thingy is over here. Bypass the plasma conduit, and we can move on. Hello! Looks like the last group is over that away, but there are some Orions in there with them. We'll go with a quick. Uh. I don't see anybody. Well, time to bypass the. Ow! You sneaky drip, I'll get you! Owie. That's one useful thing about crouching. It allows you to absorb more attack power. Set phaser to stun, and then set it to kill so that I can turn this sucker into a cloud of rapidly expanding particle beams. Down you go. Let's see, small power cell. Yeah, I'll take that, sure. Alrighty, by plasma, plasma conduit, and excellent. Now I just need to locate the warp core and shouldn't be that big of a deal. Scanning the warp core, Captain. Catastrophic failure of antimatter containment. Warp core breach is imminent. Captain, unless the breach is contained, the Azor will be destroyed. That's not good. You, Captain Brot? The warp core is going critical. Core ejection system is offline. Captain Brot? We hit an Orion ambush on our way to K7. We lost our weapons almost immediately, and then we took a direct hit near engineering. Our warp engine's magnetic antimatter containment field failed. We had no choice but to drop shields and use the power to try to stabilize the containment field. As soon as the shields were down, Orion's boarded the ship. I'll never let those greed pirates have the Azura. Please, take my crew to safety. I'll keep trying to stabilize the warp core. If I'm lucky, I can buy you some time. Right, I'll help your crew. Escort the crew members to the cargo bay. Right on. Return to the aft cargo bay, and... What's this? It appears to be a cutscene. Oh, great. Who are you guys? Wait a minute, what's this? Tactical Operate Console. What's this thingy do? When you were in the Academy, you studied mission reports from the USS Archer. In one instance, crew in the Archer reconfigured a plasma conduit and used it to disable a group of Klingons who had boarded their vessel. You might be able to do something similar. Use the plasma to clear the Orions from your path. By plastic plasma containment, and it's gonna happen to you boys. Ooh! And down they go. Synchronized! Nice touch. I don't think they like that. There's still more thugs ahead, though. You guys behind me? Good. Alrighty, boys. Okay, then. Let's see. Do -do -do. Speed down a security escort. I don't want to be all alone down here. Hit up, throw a plasma grenade. Fire on my mark. And increase our firepower. Slow. What the heck? They just beamed up! What the hell? You guys are all. <laughs> you guys are jerks! Increase health with a large hypo. Hit two brute. Okay, this one brute is down. Slow down. And... Lunge! Adam. He did not like that at all. Well, that was helpful. And just a little more, and down he goes. Ow! I thought you was dead! I was wrong. Now you is dead. 
Now my English is awful. Return to the aft cargo bay. Should be right down that away. Do, do, do up ahead. Excellent. Go to the transporter room. We'll be right behind you. Yo! Scanning. Scanning. Okay, what am I scanning for? Away team to Forrester. Chief, are you ready to transport? Even those idiots you transport into an irrelevant part of the ship, the Azura's radiation levels are returning to normal. The survivors of the Azura's crew are on the transporter pad. Both of them. We don't have much time. Get these people off the ship now. And excellent. Now that they're gone... You didn't transport them at all! You just transported me! Well, that was... odd. Not supposed to happen, really. No, really, even in the game, this isn't supposed to happen. We have them, sir. Excellent. Sensors detect more Orion ships on the way, Captain. We need you back on the bridge. Why me? Whatever. Alright, use the transporter. We don't have much time anyway. Come on. Use transporter. Alrighty. Carved Forester, beam me out quick. And away I go. That's convenient. Where the hell are you guys? Hey, Chief, how you doing? There are more Orion ships inbound, Captain. We need you back on the bridge right away. Alright, away team, prepare for an emergency transport. Use the turbo lift. I hope you guys are more useful on the bridge than you were out there. Let's get a heck out of here. Captain, incoming message from the Orions. Putting it on screen. Leave now if you know what's good for you, Starfleet. We're taking this ship, her crew, and her cargo. The Azura and her crew are under Starfleet's protection, so... Blow me! Oh dear. I didn't mean that. Eee! Okay, so Orion Corvette. That's not going to be good. Oh well, we've already taken out a couple of these guys. One more shouldn't be much of a problem. Hmm, this one's going down real quick and easy. Slow down. Don't move too fast. You got to make the morning last now. Unless you decide to blow up. Oops. Down you go. You won't be feeling too good. Increase power to the shields. Enemy's shields have been destroyed. That doesn't rhyme. And I can't sing worth a flying. Increase power. Shoot them! Shoot them with the bloody bang bang cannons! Enemies. Oi! Marauder batters, battleship, not good. Hit it with a cloaking beam, hit it with a targeting, hitting it with it, everything. Hit that sucker! Shoot him! Shoot him! Shoot him before he gets to the kids! First off. Wait, why would we. Wait, we don't have any kids. Alright, one Marauder battleship. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, that's annoying. Okay, what hit us? Let's see. Yeah, deploy a satellite phaser turret. That'll get those little guys off our back for a while, at least. Or maybe they'll just aim at the... Huh, the Marauder battleship really doesn't stand a chance against us. Increase power to... Healing. Ouch. Our port shield is down. Not for long. Increase power to shields. Because those guys, despite what you might think about them, they're actually pretty well-armed, and they can really mess up your day if you didn't plan for this. We certainly didn't. Alright, one tractor beam locked on ya. Increase power to shields. We've got a tachyon beam leveled on ya to get rid of your shields. Oh dear, frontal shields down. Not good, not good, not good. Ouch, 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 ouch. Get a load of this, and this, and ow. I'd rather you didn't get a load of that. Well, at least the marauders are definitely in worse shape than we are. Ow! Ow! Boy, that... What was that? I think I just shot myself in the foot with my own... Ooh, Plasma Infuser Mark 12. Won't be much good for us, but we can sell that for a pretty penny. Alrighty. Captain, we need to get within range and try to get a transporter lock on Captain Brought. Approach the Azura and can't transport Captain Brought to safety. Alright. Helm, get us in range. Looks like we're already in range. Yo, transporter. Time to get a transporter lock on Captain Brought. Sir, boosting containment. Well, so much for that. Oh, we have our captain. Well, that's good. Ooh. 
Just in time, too, it looks like. Youch! Okay, then. Captain brought us barely aboard, sir. Safely aboard, sir, and just in time, too. She's only barely aboard. Her kind of stuck in the turbo lift here. We got her just aboard before the ship exploded. Captain brought us requested that we take her and her crew to Sector Space, and Starfleet will get them home from there. She said she would be happy to speak with you if you wish. Excellent. Return to Sector Space, folks. That went well. Speak to Captain Brat. You saved my crew, Admiral. I'll tell you whatever I can. What do you want to know? Well, what was the Azura's mission? The Azura was a transport ship, best in the quadrant. Mostly I hauled medical supplies or farming equipment, but I had room in the cargo bays for a little of everything. I have one customer who's just crazy for Tranya. <laughs> but I know who that is. I don't save the galaxy on a regular basis like you Starfleet types do, but hauling cargo is a good way to make a living. I'm helping people in my own way. Tell me about the Orions. They're thieves, pirates, and a whole lot of trouble, if you ask me. Raiders had always been a danger to ships like mine, but the problem's gotten worse since the Orions allied with the Klingons. Now they think they can do anything to anyone. Someone needs to put a stop to these raids. What happened to the Azura? We've been having trouble with the Warp core for a few days. I was hoping I could make it to the closest star base, but... When the containment field started to collapse, I used every bit of power we had to help stabilize it. The minute I rerouted power from the shields to the containment field, the Orions were there. For all I know, they detected I was in trouble and were waiting for the right time to pounce. Well, what do you do now? Go back to Belarus for a few weeks, I suppose. I have enough latinum saved up to get me back on my feet. As soon as I can get out of the ship, I'll be doing transport again. I have customers waiting. Excellent. So let's get the heck out of here. Depart the system, folks. Actually, we'll hail Starfleet first. Well done, Admiral. You saved that crew just in time. Here we come to save the day. Shield array. Current log. Might as well get this shield away. No big deal. Let's get the heck out of here, folks. Depart the system. Ready to leave the system on your command, sir. Let's get the heck out of here. And away we go. Wait, not through the asteroid, we'll crunch! We'll see you next time, folks. Wonder what the mission will be that time.